welcome to The Garden Bench, a new gardening program and we'll be taking all you gardeners back to the basics and showing you step by step what to do in the garden each week. In this week's program we're visiting Tracy Pallant in Hurst Plot Garden and floral art expert Dilith Aylin who will be making a St David's Day arrangement plus helpful hints and tips for the week. But first, Tracy Pallant. When I was younger, growing up just outside London, um, a place called Ashford, Middlesex, um, my dad had a garden. Um, I mean, he loved his garden, but he was a pretty useless gardener by all accounts. Um, and his favourite plant, his favourite bulbs were daffodils. So the garden was, was full of daffodils and very little else. So I, I try and grow daffodils here because they remind me they remind me of him. He did, have, he did try and attempt to grow some clematis and things like that, but they never survive. I mean, I'm fairly busy, so I don't want to spend lots and lots of time in the garden, but I want it to look all warm and lovely and overhanging with wisteria and clematis and rose bushes and things. But as you can see, it doesn't look like that at the moment, despite my, despite my attempts. I'd like to keep most of the plants. I like all the bulbs that I've got. I'm, I've got some bulbs from Amsterdam when I went over last year and they're big sort of six foot pom-pom things which look really beautiful. I'd like to keep them. The only thing I'd really like to get rid of is um, the mile a minute plant, the Russian vine. Because initially I got that because I thought, oh great, it'll grow really quickly and cover over the awful fence. But what it's done is, um, I mean, it's, it's taken over everything and doesn't allow other plants to grow. I mean, that was the idea, to make it look like an old cottage garden in splot but I don't know if I've actually achieved it. I mean, I've got jasmine, honeysuckle, lots of very beautiful plants that have cost loads of money to put in, but um, I don't think it looks as good as it could have done. Well, here we are, uh, St. David's Day fast approaching, and of course in the middle of spring. And we can't allow St. David's Day to go by without doing an arrangement with some lovely daffodils. When I use spring uh, bulbs of any description or any spring flower, I always use um, a base that has got water in it, at least half an inch of water. Now all bulbs, especially daffodils, detest oasis. So the oasis isn't there for the daffodils. What I've got for that are cleverly concealed little pin holders. With any flowers, when you pick them straight from the garden, or if you've bought them, you always re-cut them, and you always cut them on a slant like that. There's more surface area there then for the water to go straight up into the flower. Then you just place the daffodil on top of the spikes. And you don't need a lot. If you can, have the daffodils to face outwards. The next thing I'm putting in is the piece of twig. Also, there is moss on the branch. Now, moss is protected, so again, I would suggest that you pick any moss or any branch that you've got um, with moss on, it should be from your own garden, not from the wild. A lot of people go out and pick it for hanging baskets and actually it is illegal to do so now. The next thing I'm putting in are ferns. Now this is a lovely fern, a welcome sight when it's, there's nothing much else in the garden, not a lot of greenery left in the garden. Now the next flowers I'm using are Christmas roses. Now these are not the best flowers to use in arrangements. They flop, but if you pick them just like that, when they're sort of quite mature, then they should last a long time. I've got Mahonia, Mahonia japonica, again a lovely spring flower, winter flowering shrub, but it does actually um, come out quite late, around about December, and it flowers until February, March. A little bit of moss then, just to fill in, make it a little bit more natural looking. I think that's about it.
that's all from today's edition of the Garden Bench. I hope you can join us next week. So until then, from us all, bye for now.